status? Janae is uh, <laughs> still out. We're we're hoping that she might be back for Thursday, but we're we're not sure, you know, on the extent of her injury. So um, she got it looked at, and uh, you know, it's it's a it's a good sprain, and um, it's just day to day right now. She'll travel, yeah, yeah. Which uh, ankle was that? It was her right ankle, I think. I don't even know. Pretty sure. I'm not positive. And India is okay. India is okay. Yeah. She just tweaked the same one that she had already. What can you, as a good coaching staff, do, or maybe some of the upperclassmen do to rip a play that you need to get up to a good start, like you did last time? Um, I think uh, everyone knows how how tough Green Bay is, and uh, you know you need to be aggressive and and try to attack them from the start. If you if you aren't, you know they'll bury you fast and and keep it that way for the whole game. So I, th I don't think it's it's uh, you know some, an unknown as far as Green Bay is concerned. I don't mean to sound like a tongue in cheek comment, but does this team play the level of competition? You know, I think uh, with our with our age, we we have ups and downs. I think that's what we're seeing more than anything else. Um, I was really, you know, we had a, a big win against Oakland. I think they're very talented, and you know, India has to be carried off of the court. Janae has to, you know, has to be basically carried off the court. We're in foul trouble. Um, so to play as hard as we did in, in that second half and make a comeback and give ourselves a chance, I mean, I thought it was, I thought it was a valiant effort. I get that maybe as important as getting a fast start is not letting it evaporate. You've had, and you mentioned it briefly in the post game. We, you know, we can't do holes for ourselves. You yeah. get a lead, and then all of a sudden you're down double digits. Um, how do you at least try to blunt that? You know, again with Janae out, I mean it was very apparent. I mean, and the foul trouble we had that. You know, there's a lot of different players playing that no, don't normally necessarily play or play together, and we dug. You know, that was I think the main reason for 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 digging the hole. And um, you know, again, very proud of them. They worked hard and did everything they could. Gave ourselves a chance at the end, and um, unfortunately, it didn't go our way that time. Uh, you know, although I don't know how many close games we've won at the end. That all, you know comes around you know you can't win every game at the end of the, at the end of you know at the, with a second left with free throws or something so um you know i was i was uh, disappointed we lost but you know happy with our effort John, has there been a common denominator of, of over the last three or four or five games maybe two weeks of just what what's causing the just in a game? I think we're just the teams we're playing are are really good. You know, are very good. Our league is really tough. I mean, uh, pretty much every team we play has has a veteran um, lineup compared to ours. Uh, you know, our, our, we're playing so many young players. They're trying to learn, um, and I think that's it more than anything else. Like I'm, I'm, you know, those lulls or, or whatever. I'm not that. Uh, you know, Sarah. Sarah had a game where she just wasn't. They weren't falling around the basket, and we got and we got down. Well, that's gonna happen. She's not gonna make every shot all year long, <laughs> uh, which sometimes I think we we all think she can. But you know, and there's games where you know Nikki goes, you know, one for twelve. You know, what are you gonna do? You know, last night we had a you know a couple players that really you know n or not last night, but on uh, Saturday. Nikki struggled shooting, you know, until the end that during our comeback. You know, uh, Al ha had an off game. I mean, you can't shoot the ball, you know, really well every single game. And, and our margin of error isn't that big. We need to play very well to beat any teams in our league. How imperative, how imperative is it to have Jill and Melinda, you know, a bigger part of this team coming off the bench? You know, we talked about that earlier. I mean, they they haven't gotten a lot of time this year, and now you know now they're playing more and more and trying to find the chemistry with the other players out there. So all of that's a learning experience, and um, you know we're gonna have we're gonna have ups and downs. How has Green Bay changed since you played them about a month ago? They they haven't changed a whole lot. Um, they they're gonna do their thing night in night out. They're gonna be really tough and play hard and. Um, 
you know, they, they, they're not changing. I mean, why would they? <laughs> uh, just, to, just as the season goes, but uh, if you could see, you know, 15 and 7 coming into the season with the sophomores and freshmen, they would pretty much take it. I, I'm definitely, in, uh, you know, obviously I wish our conference record would be a little better, but we, we were very unsure how many wins we would get this year. And so at this point, I will definitely take that. That You know, am I satisfied? No. Should we have some 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 more wins? Probably. But we got some wins that we, we shouldn't have, too. So every, everything kind of evens out. Obviously, you got pretty big, but then Milwaukee also played you guys really tough. Do you know just you know, how difficult is this? <laughs> this is a tough road trip. I mean, our last two road trips are going to be really tough. Um, the, the Green Bay, Milwaukee, and then the Northern Kentucky Wright State, they're both going to be extremely difficult road trips. Um, you know, the good thing is the pressure is off of us. I mean, we just have to go up, show show up and play as as well as we can and let the chips fall where where they may. I mean, if you're if you're, you know, a game or two out of out of second place or fighting to stay there, that adds a lot more pressure and you know, with with the young kids, I think being able to I think we've played our best when we're playing teams that that are are ahead of us in the standings or you know, we know we're going to have to, there's nothing to lose, you know, just go out and play hard. Were you sensing some pressure, John, from your team? Um, I, yeah, I think so, from the younger players. I think they're feeling feeling pressure to, to perform and get it done. And, and when they're feeling anxiety, they don't play how they're capable of. And so myself, I have to do a better job of trying to keep them uh, loose and, and not feeling that pressure and, and so that they can just go play. Back to Green Bay for just a second. Um, anything that you might have learned from what Oakland did against Green Bay up there that might help you on Thursday night? Green Bay, you know, struggles against Oakland for whatever reason. Um, I, I, Green Bay didn't do anything at different. Oakland really didn't do anything different. And our personnel is so different than what Oakland's is. It's kind of hard to, to um, you know, compare the two teams at all. I think. Uh, Oakland had some players step up and make big shots down the stretch, and that was the difference in the game. Um, you know, if, if we have some unsung heroes that you know score eight, ten points when when they're averaging two, we'll, we'll give ourselves a good chance.